Hello there, beautiful people. I hope you are doing great. In this video, I will show you how to create interactive particle background in Wix Studio. Okay, so you can interact with these particles whenever you hover your mouse and get closer to the particles, they will uh, connect with each other. So it creates a very futuristic kind of effect. Um, in the last video, we also talked about how to create this type of uh, text effect. So if you haven't watched the tutorial, make sure to watch that as well. So without further delay, let's get started and talk about how to create this type of particle effect in Wix Studio. Um, to create this particle effect, we will use the um, custom code, okay, the embed element. And I will give you the code in the description as always. So let's copy this and let's create this again in a new section. So I'm gonna set the height to 100 VH just for this tutorial, it's not necessary. Okay, after that, we will add an embed code, which is right here in the embed and social. Stretch it to the uh, maximum width and height, and then enter the code right here. Okay, and this is all you have to do. Now you have the particles right here. Um, Let's talk about some of the settings that you can change in order to customize these particles. So the first setting we have here is the color of the background. So you can go to UI gradients and here you can find a lot of cool gradients for your website. So let's look for some uh, cool gradient. I wanna use something uh, futuristic. Um, let's use this one. So just copy the code of the color, go to your code here and replace these color right here, okay? So in the background, just replace these codes. And now you have the same gradient right here. Okay, um, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, change the particles here. So right here we have the particles and the first option we have is the number of particles. So let's say I wanna set it to 90 and that will increase the number of particles right here. Okay, so now we have more particles. You can uh, increase them a lot, but I will suggest you keep it from, um, you know, around 50 to 200. If you go more, it will be like, very clouded. So if I change it to let's say 900, it will be a chaos. All right, so it's not cool. Um, let's go back and change it to 90. We also have the option to change the color. So let's say I wanna change the color like this. And now we have different color for the particles. We also have the color for the stroke, so you can uh, change that as well. All right, so we now have the uh, stroke and the color right here. So it's totally up to you what kind of color you wanna use in the particle. You also have the uh, sides of the polygon, so how many sides you want, you can add right here. You have the opacity, you have the size, you have the uh, lines here. So let's say you wanna change the color of the lines, you can also do that. Okay, so now we have different color for the lines here. So there are a lot of options and you can just look at the uh, name of the settings and easily figure out uh, where is what. Okay, so play around with the settings and see what you come up with. Um, I will drop the link of the code in the description. You can copy that and use it in your website. Um, 
but yeah uh, that's how you create the particles interactive particles in Bixer studio i hope you learned something thanks for watching